I just passed uh, the little town of Acatillo and it is raining like mad out here. I'm hoping that it lets up. I was planning on camping tonight in Dos Cabezas, but uh, it looks like it might be raining. <laughs> Well, it's a little bit of a miserable day out here in Dos Cabezas. It's windy, it's a little chilly, and it's raining. The rain was only supposed to last for an hour at around 3 p.m., but out in the desert, you can never, you know, you can never predict what's gonna happen. But uh, right now I'm at the water tower. There's this big slab. I've actually had some pretty fun camping experiences right on this slab right here. Um, we've had big group camps with uh, the kids and running around like wild animals and a few buddies and yeah, those were some good times, but. Back there's the water tower. I think I'm gonna keep going. Maybe I'll drop into uh, Canyon Sin Nombre and see if, if I can find a spot that is away from the rain because it seems like um it seems like over that way which is toward canyon sinombre it's uh it's clear and then back behind me where i was planning to camp over there you can see the rain coming down close to the mountains there Some fast moving clouds so we're gonna keep going So it looks like over there, it's not raining. Which means we might get lucky. You get a look at that. Isn't that just amazing? weather patterns, it shows the wind directions, and it shows a, a bunch of other things. But those are the two, those are the two big ones that I look at, are the, the wind patterns and the, um, the actual weather, uh, the radar map. And the radar map, you can actually scroll and it shows like the forecast forward as to where a storm is going to go. And it's showing that the 
weather system that I just drove through is going to continue south and I am dropped into Canyon San Nombre and I'm going to take this all the way down to Valacita Wash and um, go a little farther out but I should be avoiding the rest of the storm. It's going to be heading south, I'm heading north, so fingers crossed that we don't get more weather like that tomorrow. Um, there was nothing on the forecast that I saw, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Right now though, the sky is just putting on an amazing show. It's so beautiful right now. And uh, hopefully it dries up a little more and we can get a couple nights of camping in. <laughs> It's all homemade. I didn't have to use one of those package meals, but uh, it is chilly out, so I'm sitting at the cab of the truck. I'm really looking forward to today. Bunch of adventuring, find a new campsite for tonight. It's been a long time since I've done a more than more than just one night, you know. I think uh, I think I was due. <laughs> It's supposed to be really, really pretty today. All the rain was supposed to happen yesterday. So, could 
good adventuring. Then we'll find a hike too. That'd be cool. So here's a question for you. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you also like off-roading, camping, getting out into nature, hiking, you know, whatever. What makes you come out here? What makes you want to just get away from it all and be part of nature? I'm curious to know. Leave a leave a comment and and let me know what keeps what keeps dragging you out to the mountains or the desert or or whatever. Let me know. So many wildflowers in bloom right now. It's just amazing. So that was a really, really nice night. I uh, was just the right temperature. Breakfast was good, dinner was good. Kick back, listened to some music last night for a bit. And the rain stopped. So that was awesome. I'm headed toward the mud caves right now. I figured I would get in a nice morning hike and then continue my day. This is one of my favorite hikes. These are the mud caves. It's a system of slot canyons and, well, mud caves. That it's a pretty popular hike. Man, it's cool. Temperatures are always low in here. Nice and nice and chilly almost sometimes. Oh, you can see where the water was running. Maybe we'll actually see some mud mud, not just dry mud. <laughs> Oh, we're out of the slot canyon. Glad I brought a hat. Not many clouds in the sky today, which is good, but it's hot. I'm headed back down the wash, back toward the mud caves. I kind of reached the end where it flattened out and there was enough stuff in the, the little 
wash here that I uh, couldn't hike any farther. a good hike. <laughs> it's just fun. So now we're headed down the drop off and all the way across Fish Creek Wash. We'll see where we go from there. See over this huge hood. You got the right line. fun. So this is what happens when there's two trucks coming. Opposite directions. Through something like this. Actually, two trucks coming my way, one truck going the way I was going.
if I remember correctly, this is the way that I went last time and I was able to go all the way from more north in Anzabarago all the way down to Acantillo Wells and um, I was in Anzabarago and then I came to a sign that said that the way I had come was Anzabarago and that I was entering Acantillo Wells so I'm pretty sure that this is going to take me all the way through but uh, it's only three o'clock I got time I'm hoping that uh, I can make it all the way to um, to the camp spot for tonight. We'll see. But we're on an adventure, and there's a lot of these cool little white wildflowers everywhere. Everything is very pretty. The desert when it's in bloom is just amazing. So over there, I'm pretty sure, is the Carrizo Badlands. Let me zoom in here, we'll see. Let's go all the way to 10. Yeah, that's where I'm shooting for. I think we're getting close to my turnoff. I see the little marker on the map. So maybe I did good. Maybe. <laughs> if anything, this is a fun road. It looks like we're just into the Badlands now. Which way do we go? find the right turn off or it's going to go all the way back to the highway. Wait a minute. Let's see. I think I go that way. Yep, there's the sign that I was thinking I was going to see. So I think I'm on the right road. So from where I'm sitting right now, you can see the Salton Sea. That's that thin strip. Uh, let's see, thin strip right along there. Thin strip. Let's see if we can zoom in here. That is the Sultan Sea. Pretty good view. I really love that campsite. All right, now we are headed to the next hike. I guess it's called the Calcite Mine Hike and there's some slot canyons there. I've never hiked it, but uh, I've seen some friends that have hiked it, or their, their pictures of the hike, and it looked pretty amazing. So hopefully on a Monday morning, it's not gonna be busy. I'll be able to kind of slide in and 
hike without uh, a bunch of other people there. <laughs> That's always the goal, right? Okay, so we just came out Palo Verde Wash Road, and there is the highway, as you can see. So if we go Palo Verde Wash Road to Short Wash Road, then we can hit Vista del Malpias, and that will be good. Okay, that was seriously the cleanest pit toilet I have ever used. Five stars would recommend. There was at least eight rolls of toilet paper in there and it was very clean. And anyways. quite sure what I had in mind when I picked this hike or what was what I expected but uh, this is cool looks like we need four low for this spot all right here we go four low Clunk. Well, I seem to have gone the wrong way again. Let's see if I can not fall over this. Looks like I gotta hike way up there in order to get way down there. Man, this is cool. There's footprints over there. So there's gotta be a way. Looks like I gotta go up and around. Ease on down.
Looks like it's raining over there. Actually just started dropping some raindrops here. That is definitely rain. Well, I got to the top of the trail, right at the highway, just in time, because big drops of water started splashing down, and uh, it looks like a big storm is moving in, so. This is the end of my adventure. Thanks for following along. Uh, if you're enjoying the goofy stuff that I do, if you could like and subscribe and comment and do all those rad things, I appreciate it. Until next time.